today we're going to showcase a Bighorn 2023 model 3950FL. As you see, they've started putting the new steps on them that fold up into there instead of having to fold out steps. It also has a spot where you see the paw print for a, a leash that can be attached so that when you've got your family pet with you that you can take them and leash them outside without having any problem. As you see, they also put better mesh on the doors now than what they have in the past. And let's go inside and view this beauty. So as you see, We've got a full entertainment center with a 4K TV and also a surround sound system. And one of the things that makes this a beautiful RV um, on the new fifth wheels is they do put a window up front so you can see out so you have more open space. This unit includes two slide outs in the upper unit of the RV and it includes three spots for setting. And the one that we're looking at right now is a remote system that has to fold out uh, movie theater seats with lighting these two couches on either side fold out into a nice bed as you see we have an open floor plan kitchen with a nice uh, island at the top it has lighted steps and you have a very accessible control panel system we also have an inverter in the system that's a remote switch by magnum we also have your solar panels your awning your Yeti packet, which is your refrigerator outside. You also have the lights for outside. And then all your control panels here. And you can test each one of the values for two gray tanks, a black tank, a fresh tank, and you're also your batteries. And then you've got all your access lighting. If it had a ceiling fan, you would have an additional switch here. As you see, we're featuring a Norcold four-door refrigerator. And if you see here, we also have a nice center for putting another TV or even making it a coffee maker and making like a small bar out of it. And then you'll see here that we have a nice size pantry. And let's you see the safety locks for the children so they can't open the door. And as you see, we've got ample space for any kind of food that you'd want to store for extended camping. This model of refrigerator does not include any kind of ice maker. One of the things that they started putting in due to the shortage in parts is the Insignia apartment size uh, gas stove. These things are amazing. So any of you in the past that have had an RV know that the RV stoves are usually 15 to 20 degrees off and you end up burning the cinnamon rolls the first trip out or burning or undercooking the food, which in this case, you won't have to worry about that. They are also including a farmhouse sink which gives you more than ample space. And it's metal versus the old plastic sinks that they used to have in there. We also have a nice wooden table with more than an ample space. And it also has a drop leaf, which gives you more space. Now, getting into the half bath, more than enough space. Now in the past, um, me and my team have converted this into a laundry room, taking the sink and the toilet out and putting a washer and dryer combo in here with a rack to put clothes on. So you also have that additional option to do. Now we're walking upstairs into the bedroom. And as you see, it accommodates a king size bed with a rear bathroom, a nice ample size closet that you would put a washer and dryer in, but as you well know, that eats up your closet space. But you can do that and it would be set side by side in the closet. Getting into your rear bathroom, you've got a seat that they are now putting into your shower and you've got nice shower walls and it accommodates a double sink, which does not have been seen in the RVs uh, in previous past. It's usually been a single sink. So this is giving you every amenity of home and then you've got a residential style toilet and you also have reversible fan by fan mix. Um, you also have your TV. And as you see, this beauty is pretty. Now, going to the outside 
of the unit. You will see that it accommodates. This unit has two awnings on it, as you will see. And it has five sli four slide up, five slide outs on this unit. And you will see that it has more than uh, ample space. You've got your spare tire and sewer hose carrier underneath the unit. And more than an ample space, so in case the kids give you a hard time, you can store them or the husband underneath the underneath storage. It's big enough. Three walk-through containers, and you also have easy access for all the plumbing, just in case. It also accommodates a ladder on the back. You need to make sure that when you do put something on the back, you're not making anything more than 215 pounds on the back. I would actually suggest like 150 and no more. This unit also has the capability of putting up a backup camera on the back. You also have a hitch underneath for putting motorcycle or bike carrier underneath of it. As you see, it has every accommodation of home. You have an outside shower. You're also displaying the lipper uh, jack system and it has a 50 amp service. It is pre-installed uh, with brackets for putting slide toppers on the units, which is highly recommended. And you want to make sure that you do do that because that's going to help save the slide out roofs and the seals especially if you live in a unit as you see we've got a combination of many different types of slide systems on this this one has cables this one is what they call a bow system so you have a cable driven system that's a give and take system that goes in and out with pulleys then we will go to the next kind of slide out this one here this one is a mechanical uh, ram system that is underneath of the trailer and this includes um, this one will be run by hydraulic then you have a 12 gallon gas electric water heater then you will come to the next one this one when you see these kind of rails is called a swin tech slide system these are um, some of the newer innovations that are out there these are also ones you got to be more careful with because if you do not know how to run these slides correctly you'll end up causing yourself a problem, meaning that the slide out will either get stuck in or out, or it will go cockeyed into the hole. Now you've got to call a technician like myself, and we're gonna to have to walk you through that situation, or we're gonna to have to come out, and we're gonna to have to uh, disengage the system and get the brakes off it so we can manually push the slide out in. It is not recommended that a person try to do that themselves. It is recommended that you call an RV technician as herself, or someone that the factory authorizes to do so if you're under the manufacturer warranty. These are also a slide out that does require that it be greased with lithium spray, but you do not grease the whole track. You only do that right here into the back hole. You do not grease the whole track. And you need to make sure that that track is done at least every 30 to 60 days. You also see the uh, Kurt Flex uh, hitch on it. You also have a nice area in here. You have the cord reel for putting your electric cord reel back up. This compartment here is everything with the inverter, the control panel, the battery disconnects, and also your solar system and your hydraulics.